Good afternoon from SeaWorld Orlando. We are here today to go experience SeaWorld's spectacular Halloween event. And me and Lauren are here today. We're going to be dressing up in Sesame Street characters, and this is going to be so exciting. We will be walking through Sesame Street land, getting some cool pictures. I want you guys to guess what characters you think we're going to be. It'll be a little bit until we get into land and get into our costumes. Also, too, this is the first video since Hurricane Ian went through Orlando, and I hope everyone is safe and I have minimal damage. We had very minor damage, which should be fixable, so it's not too bad. Anyway, let's go get this day started. SeaWorld Orlando's Halloween Spectacular event. It's going to be so much fun, especially that we're going to be dressing up in Sesame Street characters. So let's go get this day started. We will not be here for Halloween Scream because that's not really our type of things. But Spectacular is going to be so much fun. So let's go ahead inside SeaWorld Orlando. Our first stop is going to be the SeaWorld store because they have some really cool Halloween merch. Okay, here's some of the Halloween merchandise. Got a witch way to the candy shirt for 20. I'm not gonna really go prices on everything unless I think it's you know cool and stuff. But this is some decent merchandise. Got a little lantern here with like different Halloween characters. Some of this stuff doesn't even have prices on it. Well So I have me. I have How one. do you get to Sesame Street? I was actually just about to ask that. Does anybody know? I'm a little confused. Yeah. Can you tell me? Can uh, you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? So these are our costumes. She's my little Oscar. She's my cookie monster! I am cookie monster. Where's your cookie? Oh, my cookie is actually in my bag. Ugh, Can you dare. get it? There goes my little Oscar. I am trash. I know. <laughs> She said it, not me. Did you find something? What is that? That is you. Do they think this is a joke? <laughs> this, my friend, is an imposter. That's the real Oscar. I don't love trash. I am trash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. I found oh it. Oh my god. We found it. I found it. They told us how to get to Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. There's another one. So, look who I just found. Who's this? This, my friends, is an imposter. I'm the real Cookie Monster. I don't even know this man. How you doing, Cookie? Still is Cookie. Wait, wait, wait. C is for a Cookie. Yeah, that's what C, C is for a Cookie. Yes. Ooh, I really wonder who's doing me and Greece today. We must have to go look. Hi, Elmo. I am absolutely loving your Halloween costume, by the way. You look fabulous. You look better than Oscar. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Elmo! Give me a hug, giving Elmo. Hi, hey, Elmo. <laughs> okay, we just met Elmo in our Sesame Street costumes, which is awesome. Now we're going to go to the Sesame Street store and check out some of the merchandise they have here, Halloween related. This is going to be awesome to check this stuff out. They have a count, a pumpkin plush. $34.99. They have Cookie Monster. These are all $34.99. And they okay, they don't have an Elmo one, but they did in the front store, which I saw them, but I didn't record it. Okay, I definitely want this mug. Elmo is a skeleton. Happy Halloween. $14.99. I definitely want to get that. And they have Elmo as Frankenstein as a plush. $29.99. Here's for Pirate, $24.99. You want treats, a kid's shirt? Huh? $26.99. They don't have Elmo here. They just brought Elmo out. Perfect timing. So we got Elmo, Cookie Monster, and Count for $34.99. We got Count Plus, any days. They have a kid's shirt with Elmo and some Halloween fun stuff. $29.99. Oh, I really like this cup. Got all the Sesame Street characters as pumpkin faces. It's very creative. Oh, it lights up. Oh, it does. Cool. I see a price on it. Oh, $27.99. Very, very cool.
And then I guess this is a photo, uh, this is a frame. I don't think it's Halloween related, but it's still pretty cool. And they have some pins. I don't understand this. this is a, it says Yip Yip Boo. I don't get it. But the price of this is $36.99. What is this? This is your home. This? This is where you belong. Hey, hey, scram! Somebody in my can! Leave me alone! Hey! That's her can! My can! Yeah! Get out of my can! Why don't you go find somebody else? I'm sleeping here! Do you want to fight? Let's go! <laughs> How do you feel about that? Hey! Hey, Mike and I are trying to have a mud bath in here. Scram! Get out of my can! Okay, this is actually a lot of fun, but very hot, but manageable. And we're getting lots of compliments. So it's working out. How are you feeling? Grouchy? Fine, fine without the hood. Yeah. I, put I think our next plan is we're going to go see the Sesame Street Halloween Parade over at 2 o'clock. Man. I have to say, wearing these costumes at SeaWorld is hot, but totally worth it. But after the parade, they're coming off. 100%. There goes my little Oscar. All right, so we'll go do some more pictures. Then the parade's in about a half an hour. Oscar. Whoever that is, Nike, How come I get him? It's like right here. Leave me alone and get lost. <laughs> okay, I think we're happy with all the photos we got in our costumes, and now we have a spot for the parade. How are you feeling? Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> we got a decent spot right over here. Okay, about 20 minutes till parade, so a Halloween parade.
Okay, we are back in street clothes. That, that was, was brutal. That was rough, but was totally rough. worth it. it we got so many amazing and cool compliments from people and kids' perfect. reactions were great and it, it was just perfect, especially we, we watching had, the, we had a lot of fun. Especially watching the parade in her costumes yeah. and the characters interacting with us. That was really cool. Totally worth it. But not a huge fan of the Sesame Halloween parade just because, you know, certain characters stop at certain places and I don't know. I, it's cool. The Christmas one is so much better in my opinion. It's it's neat. If you're here, go see it. But it's, to me, it's just not one of my top favorites. As we're walking through the park, here's some of the hollow screen props that they have set up for the scare zones. I assume that this is a prop for a hollow screen. Hmm. Yep, here are some more hollow screen props. Definitely a big area for hollow scream over here. Wow. Okay, this shirt is incredible. <laughs> $29.99. That is amazing. on the merchandise in here but this shirt is a hollow screen inclusive I mean, you could buy it whenever you want but it's part of hollow screen here's, a, here's an idea of what they have during this spectacular halloween for the kids during the day they have a scarecrow halloween dance party they have a pumpkin storyteller and the sesame street halloween parade it's pretty much like the main things that they have and then your typical dolphins and orchid shows and stuff like that. Okay, here's where you start your spectacular adventure. Let's go. Okay, let's go start our SeaWorld Spectacular Halloween. This is gonna be fun. It is officially time to start trick or treating. Got my bag ready. Our first stop. I have last year's bag with me. That's totally okay. Oh, of course not. That's what's up. Yeah, I definitely don't like how they do the trick or treating here. Put the candy through the chute. I don't like that because they already fell and it's like hard to, you know, keep the bags open. Just put put the candy in the bags. Like I think they're not so scary. But you know what? It's cool. I'm having fun. All right, we had our first stop. We're gonna go do all the tree stands and then figure out the rest of the day. Okay, got some more treats stations ahead. Let's go get some more candy. some more characters. Oh, hi. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Thank you. The proud supporter of good times. 
I do recommend is going through the trick or treat trail twice because they barely give you anything. Highly recommend going through at least twice. Right? Yeah. And be prepared to for the Kenny to miss your bag at the shoot. Also, we suggest either bringing a bag with you, the bags that you have to right. purchase. They are not These free. These are $3.99. They are $3.99. Yes. But That's you can bring one with you. Right. Like the one I have is from last year. So, not a recommendation here, for spectacular in my opinion. Alright, thank you. you. Okay, we just got done trick or treating over at the trick or treat trail. I do not recommend buying the bags they have here at SeaWorld, especially if you're a vlogger and you want to film, you know, them giving you the candy and stuff like that. It will fall on the floor. This happens to me multiple times. Here's another example of how it happens. Take a look at this. Because they, they should just put the candy in your bag and not put it through a chute. To me, that's just not the right way to do it. And even the candy selections and the amount they give you, like, it's just a surprise of how little I actually got. Like, it might look like a lot, but it's not. Like a bunch of non brand new stuff. Got some chips, goldfish, and then some like gummy bears, lollipops, sugar sticks. It's just like it. To be honest, I honestly don't even recommend the spectacular event for the kids. Like, okay, the Sesame Parade was really cool, but the thing is, like, but the Sesame Parade, it's, it's amazing. I just hate to have the characters just stop on one spot of the street and take like a dance party. Like, I like, I understand with the land, that's why they do it because the land is so small. But, you know, it's just hard to see all the characters that you want to see and know where to wait and stuff like that. So just be mindful when you guys go to the Sesame Street Parade where try to watch videos ahead of time before you go and know what character you want to see during the parade. I did not, it was cute. I think the Sesame Street Christmas Parade is much better than the Halloween Parade, that's for sure. But I will discuss more of this on the way out. It's just, it's just been a weird day. But the costumes totally made up for it that we wore today. It was so much fun going as Cookie Monster and Oscar. We got so many amazing compliments and everything like that. But we'll talk more about this on the way out. We're gonna stop at the store and then it's, let's give you the day. Okay, we just got back from SeaWorld and it was a fun day. Halloween Spectacular was cool, but it's not something I super recommend like in the Orlando area for Halloween festivities for like during the daytime. Okay, one thing I didn't like was the trick or treat trail on how they put the candy through a chute because most of the time, even if your bag is lined up, it will completely miss your bag and hit the ground and it's just like, what was the point of that? Like, why can't they just put the candy in the bag? The Sesame Street Halloween Parade over at Sesame Street Land, that was cute, it was fun. But my opinion with the Sesame Street Parade is just so hard to predict what character you want to stand by like when the parade stops because the float, the float's going to stop in the middle of the street and then the characters are stationed, some of them are stationed in their float and don't move so it's kind of 
part if you want to see a specific character, but it's still a fun parade. I, I like the Christmas parade much better than a Halloween parade, but the best part of that today was me and Lauren being in our Sesame Street costumes, meeting Elmo in my Cookie Monster costume, and Lauren in her Oscar the Grouch costume, and just taking pictures around Sesame Street land. So many compliments, so many people looking at us, and so many people complimenting on our costumes and saying how cool they were, and people saying how hot we look in them, which it was. That was, that was brutal. As soon as that parade was over, we took them right off, but we got everything done that we wanted to today, so it was a fun day. It was just, Halloween Spectacular is not something I totally recommend to go do. Like, it was still fun. Take your kids, you know, they could go trick or treat and everything like, just for us, like, it wasn't great, in my opinion. But, of course, you know, I love Sesame Street and it was just such a fun time as always. I cannot wait for Christmas at SeaWorld. That's one of my favorite parks during Christmas time in Orlando, one of the best decorated parks. I just wish that they didn't have the events only during weekends, but I get it staffing wise and stuff like that. Anyway, that was Halloween Spooktacular over at SeaWorld Orlando. This video is done. I'll see you guys in the next one.